Hello everybody and welcome to another video of our course uh, Machine Learning In this video we're gonna have some uh, brief introduction to our language And uh, yeah, to start uh, doing R uh, You need to download the uh, platform for that And you can choose like uh, here the, uh, the R Studio It is paid uh, uh, it is paid and yeah but you have a lot of uh, options a lot of extra things uh, if you pay for it and there is another free uh, software called the R project I use that uh, it's free not I think I don't think it's as good as R studio but yeah it's for free so you get what you didn't pay for <laughs> So yeah, so here, here is the platform of uh, uh, the R project, and yeah. So first things first, we want to define, uh, for example, we want to define a, a vector, uh, which is the first concept we we learned in our previous videos. So how to define a vector? Uh, simply, for example, a vector y equals C, I think it stands for constant, I'm not sure. Anyway, we give it some random values, and that's our vector. And that's how we define a vector. For example, let's define another vector. Let's call it x. And x, we give it some random values, and that's our x. Just type the name, enter, and you have the value of x. So let's suppose we want to add x plus y. The first condition we need to check is, uh, are, are they the same dimension to add them together? So how to check the dimension of a vector? So just write the length of, for example, x and we have 4, and then the length of y, and then we have 5. So we know that uh, we cannot add them together. So let's define another, uh, let's give like another value for x with 5 so here is 5, so now we can add them together because the, the length of x became 5 and yeah so how do we add them together simply x plus y and here we added them together so yeah now let's define a matrix how to define a matrix simply let's define our famous uh, matrix from previous videos a matrix so first give it a parameter data equals define the set of uh, our data uh, let's give it for example 2 1 0 just random for example as an example now uh, to define our matrix we also need to define uh, how many rows are there in, in our matrix so n row equals for example 2 so if we have like um, 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 elements and two rows that mean that leave us with three columns so n call equals 3 <coughs> and here is our matrix a okay so Let's suppose we let, let's have let's take a look on uh, matrix vector multiplication. Uh, first, we have y. We define the vector y and we define the vector x. Let's suppose we want to delete them. Just R M stands for remove x and R M y. Let's define uh, uh, x again and give it like new value. For example. Uh, because we want to multiply it by uh, the matrix, so we need it to be 
as this, uh, the same dimension as the second dimension of the matrix as we saw in the presentation videos here we have three that so let's define x with three elements and multiply it, a multiply by x and here is the result so this is how we do the multiplication of vector matrix or uh, uh, sorry matrix vector uh, multiplication now let's try to do matrix to matrix multiplication so let's define another matrix let's call it b so that's another matrix we give it the data we can uh, skip the parts where we define which like here we can write data or if we know the which one comes first which one comes second we can like skip that part uh, let's define uh, our matrix shape um, uh, for example let's give it also six uh, five and six six elements uh, number of rows let's say uh, three three rows yeah three rows and two columns why I was thinking here um, you might be asking like why he chose specifically three because if you uh, paid attention in our presentation videos the previous videos you'd say you know that we need to the number of columns be the same as the number of uh, rows for the second matrix in matrix multiplication that's what we want to do so okay here is our a and here is our b so we can do multiplication right so we can do a multiplied by b right error why simply because uh, this is not how we do a matrix multiplication in, in R. In R, you do A percent uh, star percent again B. And that's how you do matrix multiplication. And this is our results. As you see here, we did the multiplication easily. So, as I told you before, the result is going to be the first dimension of the first matrix and the second dimension of the second matrix so the first dimension is 2 and here the second dimension is 2 so it's 2 by 2 matrix the result is 2 by 2 matrix easy and simple as that so uh, we defined the vectors we, do, we did some ad vector addition, we did uh, uh, matrix vector multiplication, we did matrix matrix mul multiplication. Uh, any other thing to do? Uh, yeah, we studied the inverse, right? So how to calculate the inverse? For example, we have A, and we want to know the inverse of A. Simply... Uh, there is a function for that in R called solve and give it A. Ah, so you remember when I told you that uh, a matrix to have an inverse, it, the, this matrix must be square, and our matrix A is not square, so we cannot calculate an inverse for A. So let's define let's delete all the variables we define so rm and give it a list of all the variables ls that gives us the the list of all variables we define so in that way we do, we delete all the variables let's define a as a matrix uh yeah matrix give you the data Mm -hmm. Just random. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Can we do that? Uh, 
No. Let's define, for example, a three by three matrix. That means we need nine, so that's in nine. Uh, number of rows equals three, or we just can write three and three, and that's it. That's our A. So, okay, we define this matrix. Now we want to have the inverse of that matrix. So, as we said before, solve and give it the matrix A. And here is the inverse of our matrix. That's how I did it in the previous video. And I told you that uh, you will be also able to do it super fast using uh, R. And we're going to see it later with Python. So, yeah. Great. Uh, we saw the inverse. Now, one question says, which is the transpose. We also studied the transpose. So, how we do transpose in R? Simply t and give it a and that's all so this is our a before transpose this is our a after you can see that for example 1 4 5 became 1 4 5 as a column 2 5 5 became 2 5 5 as a column the row 3 6 2 became 3, uh, three 6 2 as a column and that's yeah, I think that's it. That's for now that's enough. We might learn new things in the way. Thank you very much. See you next video in uh, Python tutorial. And uh, yeah, stay tuned.